at noon, demonstrators are demanding that State Senator Frank Artiles resign from his post after he used a racial slur and vulgar insults during a private conversation with African-American lawmakers. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live for us in Southwest Miami-Dade with more on the story. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, today here there was the first of several protests that are going to be going on today around the state and here in South Florida. Uh, they left us a little while ago, but they left their signs behind taped to the window of the senator's office. As we said, there are two more protests today. One is in southwest Miami-Dade and one in Tallahassee. At each one, they're calling for the senator to step down. Resign now! Resign now! More calls for State Senator Frank Artiles to resign. He's on the hot seat for spewing racial slurs while out drinking Monday night in Tallahassee. Should it resign immediately from the State Senate? Absolutely. It happened while Artiles was out with fellow Senators Audrey Gibson from Jacksonville and Perry Thurston from Fort Lauderdale. Both are African American. Gibson and Thurston say he used the N word while describing senators who supported Senate President Joe Negron's rise to power. Artiles claimed he used a variation of the N-word. He's also accused of using the B-word while talking about Gibson. I extend a heartfelt apology to my colleagues and to all of those I have offended. Artiles apologized on the Senate floor Wednesday, talking to the entire Senate and both Senators Gibson and Thurston. I'm so sorry for the words and the tone I used with you, regretfully, Monday night. Protesters say his apology is not enough. What state senator or what elected official goes up there uses the N-word calling people bees, hitting people at bars. He's got a record of this. Ain't like we, he, he just started this. He's been doing this for years. You said it. Now get out of the As protesters set up outside Artelia's Southwest Miami-Dade office, there was no one inside, but they figured they're loud enough that he will receive their message. We want this man to go on the first bus out of this district and out of this state. Thank you. Yeah. And a live look now at the senator's office, where, as we said, the office is closed. Uh, so no one for us to speak to here. We did try to reach out to his staff, and so far we have not heard back. Once again, two more protests today, one here in southwest Miami-Dade, the other in Tallahassee. Live in southwest Miami-Dade, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.